Oh, here it is, a day in the life of, and I will say just as an opening statement of introduction, everything that I have been intentionally in doing in the last 12 months, especially since um, last year's submission of the application process has been solely around marketing, brand development, um, and community awareness. So here you go. On day Monday is the day that I regroup, uh, that I evaluate the previous week, um, anything that has happened over the weekend, um, get my calendar together for the week, um, and then create the game plan uh, for as to how the work move forward. So, I, so, so Mondays are my favorite days because I get to breathe a little bit. Um, and we are definitely coming off a very hectic week uh, because of last week's April 4th commemoration. The Destiny House, uh, myself, we were able to be a part of so many of the commemorative events. Um, and really because um, two, uh, I guess, parallel things that um, have really come out of those celebrations, even before last week, uh, and wanting and wanting to move forward as a city um, has been around economic justice and education. Here's where I got to um, celebrate with the Southern Christian Leadership Conference um, as a special guest and with one of our funders, actually, the American Federation for Children, um, which has funded a lot of the um, educational reform efforts right here in the city of Memphis along with um, a special exclusive interview with Ms. Dewana Kyles, one of the Memphis 13, one of our young people who um, integrated schools back in 1961. So when you talk about a day in the life of, um, I just feel like it is um, significant that I pulled back from last week's experiences because a lot of my time was spent um, with different stakeholders in the community, across the city, across the state and country, talking education, talking um, economic justice, um, solely in commemoration of MLK 50, um, and what that means for the Destiny House, what does that mean for Rich Ed Academy Leaders, what does that mean for education moving forward. And so what's also been happening that happens um, weekly is that I get the opportunity to talk to youth groups and schools all across the city about the work that's being done and even bigger than just um, the creation of a charter school an all-girl charter school but more so important why the need what's the significance um, and the premise of this school being around history awareness and civics and why that's important and why that matters to our young people there is absolutely no doubt that i spend the majority of my time now um, traveling and speaking um, to a variety of entities, press conferences, media ops, again, just talking about the endeavors around the school, why the school is important, and um, the model. What, what was my rationale around wanting to infuse civic ed education into a project-based learning charter school for girls? So interestingly, I also um, spend time with um, stakeholders, um, my design team, um, and I have uh, three particular small groups that I'm working with. Um, and in this first picture you will see, this is a diverse group of stakeholders that range from business professionals to community leaders, educators, and the like. Um, my second group is a small group I do with college students, and then lastly with parents. And of course, the parents are the vital piece of this because this is a very new phenomenon for parents in the city of Memphis. A, the project-based learning concept, uh, civics, civics education and history awareness, but then the all-girl concept, right? And so you want to make sure you're intentionally getting the buy-in, the engagement, and the feedback from parents. I can tell you this, what has really been exciting is to be able to forward the marketing and the brand development of the Destiny House around the school. And so I'm really excited to say that in this year's time, we also began that process first starting with our wonderful logo. Here you have it, the Destiny House. And lastly, this is the part no one really gets to see unless you are invited to my home or you're having a working session with me. And this is my calendar where I keep everything at. If it's not wrote down, it does not exist. Um, and then my community lunch notebook, which um, is the fellowship that I went through, the Tennessee Charter School Center that I finished last spring. And it has really become my Bible and it keeps me on track um, around the documents necessary for the process.